Hello there, this is Brendan from Mechajiki. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to set up a two computer little render farm uh, using Render Garden in Windows. So, from the last video where we showed you how to set up um, Render Garden with just one computer, we had this scene. Um, so, now we'll show you how to do it with two. So, right now I'm going to, clo I'm going to close this window actually, close After Effects. Um, you might remember that I had put this project on uh, the D drive. This is an external drive I plugged in. Um, but the problem with using the D drive is that when we mount this on other machines, uh, they might already have a D drive. They might have a flash drive plugged in. They might have you know, anything else. Um, D is very commonly used. So what we need to do is change the drive letter to something that the other computer is unlikely to have. Uh, again, the goal is that basically this drive looks the same on both here our main machine and on any other machine that's also mounting it. Alright, so to do this I go into, uh, you can't see me typing here, sorry about that, I'm typing, typing in disk management and you see that it, um, it brought this up, this little disk management thing. So I click on the drive, right click on it, change the letter to, uh, I'm going to choose R for a rendering or render garden. Um, but being farther in the alphabet, probably people aren't going to have an R drive already. Okay, so once that's done, um, we're going to open it up After Effects again. And we'll just open that project again on the R drive just to make sure that nothing got messed up with the paths changing. It should all be fine, but uh, it never hurts to double check. Not to mention, we have to open the project again just to get Render Garden going. Okay, so everything looks good. Okay, so let's go to get Render Garden going in here. Of course, since we changed the drive letter, one thing that we have to do now is change the seed bank path. So we just browse to that. Um, the Python and FMPEG paths are on C, so that's not going to change. Um, but the seed bank is different. All right, so let's go back into our render queue. Um, make sure this is checked. Yes, the render queue item is checked. We've got our eight seeds again. Um, all right, another thing that's going to be different with the drive changing is the output. So we got to make sure that it's, it's on R. It did, After Effects knew to change it, so that's good. Um, all right, so plant the seeds. So Right now, I'm not going to run any gardeners on this machine because we want to show you, it, you how to run it on a render node. So let me shrink this down. All right, but first course to run it on the render node, we need to get the drive mounts over there. So there's our seed bank on R. Um, you see we have our, our seeds all with a ready prefix there. So now what we do is we... Uh, Actually, first what I think what I'll do is I'll make an installer folder because, you know, if you have, especially if you have a lot of um, render nodes, you don't want to have to like go through and download all the stuff for each one of them. So we'll just make a little folder on, on our R drive that has the installers that we need. It's got Python, FMPEG, and uh, the Render Garden installer. Just copy that there. Okay. So now we got to get this drive on the network. So we right click on it. Go to properties and you see there's a sharing tab here. So we click on this. It's not shared right now. So we click on advanced sharing. Say share this folder. Um, so there it is. It's called R. You can change the name of this if you want. Um, it's not going to affect the, the mounted drive letter. Um, okay, this is important. By default, Windows just kind of gives read only permissions to other people, but we need to enable full control because you know the other render garden is going to have to save files and rename the seeds and that sort of thing. So got to make sure we change that to full control. All right, so close everything here. Um, one more thing I'm going to do is I want to know the IP address for the machine I'm on here. Um, usually Windows networking, you don't actually really need that, but it's good to know it anyway. So I'll just bring up a command prompt. Um, I'll type IP config in here. And that little program will show me my IP address. So that's uh, 1025.067. Okay, so that's all we need here. 
All right, so now we're pretty much done on this machine. We switch over to the other machine, which I've chosen the flower theme so you know uh, which machine we're on. Okay, so open up a folder window here and I'll click on the network. Um, you see it does actually X07, that is the name of the other machine, but um, if, we, if it didn't come up for some reason or uh, if we just didn't, feel, you know, weren't sure, um, I'm typing in here the UNC path. So that's two backslashes and then the IP address and there it is, our R drive. You can see that we can browse it, um, you know, the items on it. But uh, this is not how we want to mount this drive. So this here UNC path, for one thing, that's not the same path that we were using on the original machine, of course. It was just the, the drive letter R. Um, so we want to fix that. Also, a lot of uh, programs, including After Effects, don't like drive uh, UNC paths. So here I just right-clicked on the R thing there, selected my R as my drive letter, um, and now here we have an R drive on this computer that looks the same as the dr R drive on the first computer. Now I can run some installers. Um, this computer actually already has Python, so I'm not, there it is, Python 2.7. So uh, that's what we want, so I'm not gonna install that again, but we do need to put FFmpeg on here. Um, very important, it needs to be the same location on every computer because that FFmpeg path is stored in the seed, so it's just C program files, FFmpeg, and I go in here and I actually had to copy these files uh, the desktop first because the Windows security doesn't let me copy from the network right to program files. But if I copy the desktop and then I copy them in or move them in, um, then I just go through this and uh, that's okay. But for the network, Microsoft says that's not okay. Okay, so there's FMPEG and uh, so now you saw Render Garden itself. So very important, this being a render node, we, um, we're going to want to go here and add this little render, this little install item, this uh, gardener for render nodes. So put that in there, run the installer. Um, now After Effects is installed on this computer, you know, just the way you normally would, just you get Creative Cloud and then you download it and so forth. So you'll see right now After Effects is running a full version. But we're not going to want to have that uh, eventually, but it's actually good to have it right now because so many times when you're on a render farm and if, if you have an issue, um, the easiest way to debug it is to actually open the project in the regular After Effects and you know if the problem is a missing font or a piece of footage you can't find, maybe because it's on your other computer's desktop, um, you'll be able to see all the errors and you'll be able to kind of fix the problems. Um, so here in the full version of After Effects, we're just going to open the project from the R drive. This is from the project folder. Maybe I could have actually gone into the seeds folder. It would have been even better. But um, the source folder in the seeds, in the seeds folder. But anyway, so there we see the project. All right, so that's good. Remember, every rendered node needs to have the same fonts and same plugins installed. Um, this project just uses all the stock stuff. But they need to have all the same plugins and fonts. Uh, for it to work. It's sort of like how you have to have the same FFmpeg installed in the same location. All right, now the problem though with running a full copy of After Effects is that I only have two copies of After Effects in my Creative Cloud. So what we can do is make this a render only node. Here I am in Notepad, you can type anything in this text file. But the key is you want to save it in a certain location. So it's C, Users, Public, Public Documents, Adobe, and then the file name here has to be um, AE render only node.txt. So just by saving a file there, again, it doesn't matter what's in the file. Um, now, if I open After Effects, you'll see it opens differently. In this splash screen, you can see it says render engine right there. And then once it opens, you'll see this is not your full After Effects that you're used to. Um, it only has a render queue in it. So yeah, no uh, project window, no comp viewer, and anything like that. And most of the menu items are grayed out. Um, but this is what we want. All this thing can do is render, but that's all we want to do here. So at this point now, if I wanted, I could uh, you know, log out of Creative Cloud and everything would still be fine. Okay, so we have um, make a, just make a jiki folder here in C program files. Uh, that's from 
you know the installer and inside here in render garden so we have this uh, render garden gardener dot bat file so this gives me a little interface here I can select how many gardeners I want I'm gonna go for eight um, I planted eight seeds if you remember and now these checkboxes here these are the different types of uh, seeds we can have there's of course the ace project seeds there's fmpeg for making the mp4 combine for combining segments and notify for alerting you when the project is done um, actually notify only notifies you if you're on the computer that submitted this, uh, the plant of the seeds so I can leave it checked here um, but sometimes you may only want to have uh, certain things running on certain computers for example your your computer with the drive actually local to it will probably be a faster combined computer so you may want to have only uh, doing combines on that computer you may want to launch a gardener would only notify because uh, you don't want to render but that's another option all right so say I want those options go to the seed bank and now it launched eight gardeners for for me and you can see they're all picking up the various seeds here if I go to the task manager um, I'll be able to see uh, a lot of processor usage now I'll, I'm going to pause the uh, video right here now one thing that um, you often see is this error here, unable to read VR path registry from you know some location. A lot of people, when they see this, they think this is an error that they need to be worried about, especially if their render isn't actually kind of continuing on after this point. Um, so they think that this is the bug. Uh, this is actually an error message you don't have to worry about. Adobe says it's, uh, it's benign, so don't worry about that one. Anyway, all right, so here everything is rendering and you can see that we get a, we're getting a lot of CPU usage. Uh, you know, all those cores are pretty much full right now. So that's the Magic Render Garden. Now back here on the first computer, we can look at the seeds and we can see that, yes, indeed, eight, all eight of my seeds are now set from not ready, but rendering. And also it says X08 in the file name, that's telling me the machine that's rendering each seed. X08 is the name of the render node. This computer that I rendered from is X07. Now, if I wanted to get an alert when it's done, I can go here and say plan more gardeners and then say I want to notify only gardener. It's sort of like what we saw on the other machine with the types of um, processes that can run. So you see that this is um, sitting here and it's not going to pick up anything. Um, it's just going to sit here and it's the only thing it's going to pick up is a notify seed and only when it's done. So on this computer I can sit there and basically work and all of a sudden a dialog will pop up later. Alright, so here's the rendering computer again. Again, you see all those uh, the CPUs are, are pretty much full, you know, filled up. Um, you see there on the front, uh, that gardener finished because it was working on a part of the comp um, that the first part of the comp, which is much faster. It's very common to have, you know, comp where different segments of it are, you know, some are slow and some are fast, depending on what's going on in that segment. All right, so we'll speed this thing up. You can see that they're finishing, and then back on the original computer, speed up the, the weight, and you see the seeds changing there in the folder. Now, here we are. So we have five minutes, 43 seconds. Is how long it took to render. That's my little done alert. Okay, great. So that's, you know, I was sitting here on this computer. I could have been doing other stuff in the uh, render node was doing all the work for me. Now let's do another test. Uh, let's bring After Effects back up and replant the seeds. But this time, let's add more seeds because we're gonna run gardeners in this computer as well. Um, so maybe I'll run eight seeds, so that would be 16. Eight seeds on both would be 16 total, but actually, I'm gonna make it 32. Um, it's often not a bad idea to add more seeds than you plan to run as gardeners. Um, for example, if some early seeds finish quickly. I don't need this old gardener anymore, so I'm gonna close it. Um, if part of the comp finishes quickly, you know, if you just did one seed per gardener you're running, then those gardeners would just sit there doing nothing. But if you have, if you add more seeds, then you kind of dice up your comp more finely, and then if there's a really slow segment, you can get a bunch of gardeners working on that slow segment, not just sitting around. All right, so of course, as soon as I planted the seeds, the other um, computer started rendering, as you can see there. Now we're gonna plant eight more seeds here. And now look at my, uh, this window, get the processor 
meters up here. And you can see in the Windows Explorer window, you can see we have all these, um, you know, some of these are ready, but many of them are rendering. And if I look down the file names, I can see that some of them are X08, some of them are X07. So again, you can look at the seed uh, file name and you can get that information about like what seeds are rendering and where they are rendering. Um, so we're gonna kind of speed this up. So you see that this computer is rendering and the other computer is also rendering and everything's rendering. And then we get some combining and some MP4s and there's the final thing. This one, we had two computers, so it took three minutes and 27 seconds. Um, so we were able to speed up the rendering even further. And now you can see that my, uh, my gardeners are now just kind of sitting there idly waiting for something to pop up. Um, and if I go into my output, we can see the MP4 that was made and play it. And so there you have it. That's how you use Render Garden on a uh, small render farm and two machines. Of course, you can add more and more to speed up your rendering even more.